हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू बैक माय चैनल पांडे गुरुजी सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल कंटिन्यू डिस्कस द सीक्वल प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन सो लास्ट वीडियो आई डिस्कस बेस ऑन द ज्वाइन फाइव क्वेश्चन एंड दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस द फाइव वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टोटली बेस ऑन द सिनेरियो बेस क्वेश्चन बेस ऑन द बिल्डिंग फंक्शन एंड दिस क्वेश्चन बेसिकली uh ask in the uh, many of the organization so if you able to solve this all the question uh, you can clear any type of the interview so we'll discuss all the question one by one how we can write this question uh, within the time frame and uh, if you immediate get the requirement other than this type of the question also uh, how you can solve it so uh, we have total five question so all these five question i taken based on the some uh, based on the condition of the join condition of the built in function condition of the system function so if you have knowledge based on the join uh, built in function date time function uh, null function uh, system string function so before solving all this question you need to be uh, we have clear understanding of the uh, all the topic which i already covered in the uh, training area so uh, let's start with the first question uh, the first question uh, we have that uh, write a query to display an a in the employee table if the department is not available in the department table so i have department table okay so uh, let me put in the top department table so department table we have only two department one and two uh, but employee detail table you can see we have the multiple entry like other than one two like three we have four five so in place of the four five you need to be j- just display in the output uh, as a na okay so how you can write in single line code the second question we have can you get the list of the employee with the same salary like in the employee table uh, or the employee salary table we have uh, we last video we already discussed about the table uh, which is the employee salary table okay so basically based on the employee uh, based on the employee table so this all table structure uh, you can uh, uh, d- download from this my website Uh, i will provide on the link just you can uh, copy the code and you can run and you, you get the some type of the dummy table uh, just do the practices so you can see some of the employee we have same salary uh, like this employee have the same salary and uh, this employee we have the same salary so you need to be get only that employee which have the same salary okay now next question we have Uh, how we can how you can find a duplicate record in the employee tabbing table using the count function no need to use the distinct function okay so you need to be uh, use the only count function based on the count function uh, how you can uh, uh, find the uh, duplicate record okay now we have uh, next question is the write a sql query to print the name of the uh, distinct employee uh, which dob between this and uh, uh, we have the set of range okay so you need to print, uh, display only distinct employee which uh, date of birth between this and this date uh, now the fifth question we have write a, a query to get the maximum salary uh, from each department so each and every department uh, what is the maximum salary is there so you need to be solve so just you can uh, uh, pause this video and you can try to solve uh, uh, the question uh, all these five question and you can provide the solution in the uh, video comment okay so let's start with the first question okay so uh, the first question is saying that uh, write the query to display the any in the employee table if the department is not available in the department table so we have two, two table uh, employee table and the department table so just you can uh, put this uh, join okay so uh, basically to save the join let me uh, copy paste 
so let's start from uh, uh, employee detail so this is so this is the basically uh, last video i already discussed we not available we can use the left join here okay so you can use the employee detail okay so employee detail so employee detail table we have the example of the employee detail table so we not available so you can use the left join here okay so basically to display the na okay so uh, to display the na so this is the data from the left table okay so this is the data from the left table now let me put the uh, data from the right table okay so basically de department name you need to be display the na so when you run this code okay so in the department d ed dot department id d dot so you can check press alt f1 you can see what exactly we have the depart id we have so you can give the depart id if you consider in this table okay so if you run this code department name so you can see the what is the exactly department name dpt name is there okay so to run this code you can see here uh, which department is because in a department table we have only two department let me show you again this we have only two department it and admin so other than whatever we department we have you can see by default null is coming okay by default null is coming so how you can but the question is saying that you need to be you need to be used display as a na okay so you can use the built-in function that is the uh, is null function so is null i already discussed in my uh, tutorial video and you can put the na okay so now you will get the in the output as a uh, na but you can see because we already use the function so no column name is coming so you can give this some uh, uh, meaningful name as a as like department name okay so if you run this code you can see the department name is coming okay and which is department is not available is coming as a na so interviewer basically uh, try to understand that you have the proper knowledge of the built-in function or you can utilize the uh, built-in function or not so this is the answer of the uh, first question now coming to the uh, second question uh, we have uh, second question is saying that can you get a list of the employee uh, with the same salary so uh, we have the uh, so we have the employee table so employee table what you need to do so you can put the uh, select star from select star from employee table so when you get the simplify table uh, how you can uh, same check the salary is the same okay so you need to be use the two uh, you need to be use the uh, type of the join employee and employee e1 so two name is given and e dot salary is equal to e1 dot salary and employee id e dot employee id not equal to e1 dot employee id Okay, so you will get all the employee information we have the same salary okay now coming to the uh, third question third question we have can you uh, find the duplicate record in the employee table which uh, by using the uh, count function so let me create some duplicate record in the employee table uh, one or two I am inserting again okay so now if you see this table here okay now you can see this table select star from uh, employee table we have employee d1 and employee d2 as a duplicate okay if you put the uh, order order by clause okay order by one so you will get the all the duplicate value in one place okay now based on this how we can uh, uh, figure out that is the duplicate value okay so by using the count function you need to be use the aggregated function that is the group by clause 
so you need to be group the data based on this all these three column whatever we have so in this table we have uh, whatever we have the data that you need to be use okay so aggregated function you need to be uh, you need to be uh, basically uh, learn from the video tutorial employee id employee name and salary and count function you need to be give the count greater than 1 okay so based on that uh, you need to you can get this all the duplicate value we have coming to the uh, fourth question coming to the fourth question we have write a sql query to print the uh, name of the distinct employee with date of birth between uh, this and this date we have given the set of the range okay so this is the basically a simple uh, you need to be use the uh, distinct clause and you can put in the where uh, condition okay so this is a little bit very uh, easy if you have better understanding on how we can use the between and in okay so select distinct employee name so if you uh, run this part of the code you will get a distinct employee only now coming back to the uh, last question uh, we have that uh, please write a query to get the maximum salary from each department okay so you need to be get the maximum salary from each department so we have the table okay so you, you need to be get the uh, maximum data from each department so you need to be again use the aggregated function okay in from employee table and you need to be use the group by department id okay so you need to be use the group by department id and uh, you need to be use the department id here in the select statement and uh, the question is saying that you need to use the maximum salary so you can use the built in max function okay max function is basically giving the maximum salary if same question anyone ask you get the minimum salary from each department you can use the minimum function here so once you run this code you can see two department we have this uh, maximum salary so like this if you have any doubt if you have any question uh, you can put uh, the question if you not able to solve uh, this type of the question uh, you can uh, ask the question on the video uh, comment definitely i will provide the solution so if you are new to my channel please hit the subscribe button and bell button thank you